Uh, good afternoon to everyone. So, ma'am, sir, I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you. And we will have 10 to 15 minutes cultural sharing together with them. So, in mainland Palawan, there are three major tribes. The first tribe is the Tagbanwa, located in central to north of Puerto Princesa City. The second tribe is the Batak, located in northern part of Palawan. And lastly, ma'am, sir, they are the Palawan tribe located in South Palawan. They are the possible descendants of Tabonman or caveman living for thousands of years. So, they are the possible owner of Manunggol jar. Yes, are you familiar with Manunggol? So, if not, it is a burial jar. So, since 1976, they are staying here in Puerto Princesa City for temporarily only. So, since then, different families have come and go here and up to the mountain. Their original home is in the mountain about 200 kilometers away from here. Palawan tribe came from the South Palawan. So, what we have here, ma'am, sir, is a livelihood program to encourage them to continue to practice their cultures and traditions and also uh, to help them earn. So very much appreciated if you buy something sa mga handmade product. Uh, ma'am sir, Palawan tribe, pabiri pag po. Yan. Pakihold ma'am and pass to your seatmate and at the back also. Yes. Yan. Bag pick is a sack or resin of almasiga tree. That product that you are holding is called bag pick. Bag pick ay dagta ng almasiga tree. So, Alma Siga tree is a huge tree that grows in the mountain. At first, ma'am, sir, it is a sticky liquid, but after a few days, it will harden. It will uh, going into sulit and sell it to the lowlands. So, I mean, ingredients in making your nail polish, fiberglass, paint varnish, and other related products. So, magtik. Next, we have... Yeah, so, ma'am, sir... This is their native backpack, made from rattan. They call it bucket. Bucket is uh, made from rattan and they can carry more weight. The product that they put here is the bucket. And when it's full, they tie it up. And kabag, yes, mabugat, heavy. They have head strap to support and carry more weight. So the other book can carry 30 to 50 kilos up and down the mountain. I can talk about so aside from that, we have the smallest basket, they call it. Ayan. So, ma'am, sir, this is the cup, the smallest basket. The weapon of the tribe made this. So, made from a small bubble. What they put the cup? They put seedlings here and sometimes mga jewelry. Think cup. So, aside from the think cup, the Palawan choicemen are music lover. The set is called Basal. So this musical instrument are documented. So it's a box or sa libro po matatagpuan. Ito, gimbal daman kayo lang ating pag-blokang kayo lang at blokan nyo. Tawa. So ma'am sir, this is their native drum. They call it gimbal. So gimbal is made from hollow wood and they have this intricate design that they carve and at the top, cow skin. Gong or agong, sanang the smaller gong. So, ma'am, sir, when the sound of gong echoes in the mountain, they believe that they can communicate the spirit of their ancestor. So, please listen, gong.
juice is called bagat. It means bird song. <coughs> so they have another instrument, arading. Arading is made from a piece of wild palm and they have beeswax serve as a jasser to the sound. Yeah, Through vibration with the use of their mouth, they can produce an amazing sound. So please listen po. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's the Arabic. So as I put the Arabic master, they had a flute. They call it Buburuk. Yes, Buburuk is a flute, so sound nila mostly lullaby. So everybody, please listen. Yes. yes, so that is their musical instrument and their music is all about nature. So aside from music lover, the Palawan tribesmen are hunter gather. They have special spear when hunting. Yes, namatay. So ma'am sir, this is surayang and the other one is ligid. According to them, many had been killed using this. So, minana pa po nila sa kanilang ancestor. So, this one, Surayang. Surayang is a special kind of spear. Ma'am, can you hold po? Be careful. So, it looks like carbon, but it's not for fishing. Be careful lang po matanas yan. Yes. So, they use this for bigger animals like the wild boar. If the target is visible, uh, they are now going to uh, throw it at a distance and the metal will separate and get well stuck. So, ma'am, sir, the handle... There is a possibility that it will hang on the bushes if the target tries to run. So for completely trap. If the target is alive, we have ligand for follow-up kill. So ma'am sir, to attract animals like a bird and squirrels, they have this weasel. They call it tampius. Tampius is made from a small bamboo and imitate the sound of the bird and the squirrel. So pakinggan niyo po. Tampius po. <laughs> yes, so when the target responds to the sound of tampius, the tribesmen will prepare their sapukan. Mom says sapukan is a blow dart or blow gun made from two barrel bamboo to make it stronger. And the front side, as you can see, beeswax and the dart is made from a wild palm. And the target, and the so everybody, please watch them. Mata. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's the way of hunting, ma'am, sir. Yes. So in actual situation, they put poison at the tip of the dart and they can hit about 30 meter distance of the target. Po. So ganun siya kalayo. So in actual situation, uh, the main ingredients in making the poison, this plant po. Here po. So sa mga dito ba ito? Yeah. They call it dita. They collect the sap of the dita plants, this plant po. Mix it with other plants. Cook it in a slow fire to make it effective. So according to them, the poison is so powerful. It takes few minutes and the target will die. Yes. So if they accidentally hurt themselves, say goodbye to the earth. No antidote at all. Yes, to safely eat the meat, they wash it in a running water. So, pag may galit sila, chak, gano'n lang po. Sometimes fear, sometimes sapukan. Gano'n lang po yun. So, ma'am, sir, to safely eat the meat, they wash it in a river, sometimes, basta mga flowing water. Yes. And, uh, we are at the last segment, the way or the process of making fire, they call it santigan. Santigan had three toes. They have simpling metal, or simple metal, and then, their native cotton and their stone, po, flint stone. So, from the word santikan, it means friction. Yes. Yes, po. I do that when I was a kid. Yes. Nakikita niyo po yung usap. Then, he will transfer na po sa dried grass and then blow to make bigger fire. Yes, we're going to make fire. Yes, we're going to make fire. 
It looks easy but mahirap siya, difficult talaga. <laughs> so addition while waiting po, the alphabet different from by Bayan. Yes. Yes. Hello. Salamat. So, ma'am, sir, Salong. Salong is the torch and the mountain, and this is the sap of one pili tree. One pot of this can last for three to five days, depending on their uses, and they also use this for aromatherapy and sacrament and medicine when they have an uh, headache and stomach ache. Drive away bad spirit and bad luck din po. Mabango po yung amoy nito. Smell like an incense po. So, may tapa. Yeah. So, ma'am, sir, uh, that's all for our cultural sharing. And if you enjoyed, clap your hand, po. Yes. So, we have donation box for sustainability of this project. So, ma'am, sir, before you exit here in the tribal vi uh, village, drop by on the souvenir shop. Very much appreciated if you buy something for their mga handmade product po nila. So, ma'am, sir, if you want to say thank you in their dialect, just say makansang salamat. Makansang salamat. Yes. Um, take picture na rin po tayo for the documentation. Sino po? Ang pinakamaraming group dito? Or may tour guide po? Wala po ba? So, okay. Ma'am? No, no, not the the box. Yes. The box. The box. No, the box. Oh, mom. Uh, take picture with the snake. <laughs> the this group. Oh, we take Don't worry, mom, sir. Our snake, it's a pet, not venomous. Someone will hold its head and tail. Just uh, take picture at the box. Just touch the belly. <laughs> Hindi siya kasama. Kailangan nga kami muna. Kaya, ano ba ang siya? Yung pinilang siya. Yun, sir? Yeah. Wow!